Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is Francesco here. I hope everyone is doing very well. So in today's video, what I wanted to do is grab a few moments to check out the Mila Note for Mac app. Now I talked about Mila Note a few months ago, I think it was in like February, March time, where we discussed this application. It's a very visual version um, of a note-taking application. It's a great way for you to sort of creatively and visually organize your notes, images, links, and things like that. And I quite liked it. I quite like the design of it. I quite like the experience of it. And naturally, I think their next move from the web experience was move over to Mac or iOS because they seem to be the most dominant spaces for creatives to be in. So naturally, I thought I'd grab a few moments to check out the Mac application. Um, like this is very similar to the experience on the web version. That's what I noticed from sort of playing around with it initially. I want to tell you, take you through the design side of stuff. This can almost be a refresh and also some of my opinions on some of the features and functions. What I noticed about, and I don't know whether it's my web uh, link, whether it's the Wi-Fi or something like that, that it is slightly slower than I thought. I thought because it's natively built, it would be built offline, but I, st I think they're still attaching onto the web version and I might have built this in a web model. So naturally it might be a little slow. Um, again, uh, I think I've got an update. Uh, so maybe that's something, and I'm gonna do it now actually. I'm gonna refresh and see whether the update fixes that. I've, I've never done a real time update in a video. Mm. I've got some food on at the moment. I'm um, so sort of like slow cooking it. It's quite nice. Okay, we're back here. Uh, let's see whether the update fixed the sort of lagginess. Uh, there's still some slight lag, but it's a lot better than it was a minute ago. Um, I can imagine that because I downloaded it as a, uh, a, a like a download from their website, it probably just captured the first version of it. And that was like one point. That was one point zero four. So. This is the latest version, so it, as as you can see, it's slightly snappier than what I was just mentioning. So, you know, the experience is very dead it's simple. Like, you've got this canvas uh, in front of you. Uh, naturally, you can organize it, whether you want it notes, images, links. You can actually have columns and boards. So boards are a way for you to sort of go a bit deeper with your organization. So, for example, let's see the, the practice board designing a house. Uh, as you can see, uh, you've got the, you, you, you can add notes, you can add checklists, you can add deeper boards within boards, which is quite cool. And then uh, you can move this about, which is quite nice. Um, I think the one thing that you can do with the Media Note experience is actually access this offline, which is quite nice. One of the things I think this Mac version will be useful for is when designers are offline and they are creating outside of that content. So if you are somebody that wants to use this outside of creative creative like industries, that's absolutely fine. I think that the experience itself lends itself to this. So what I recommend doing is creating a board to kick things off. So the board would be your sort of hub. I'd call it either personal or work. And once you've got those two boards, so let me just drag these two on um, to sort of break things away. So you might want like, let's say a professional one and a personal one, uh, sorry, I'm, rename that one uh, ooh, professional there we go uh, so if I just go back I'm just going to demonstrate how you can clean a workspace quite rapidly this might be useful for you guys so there you go you just re uh, there we go uh, just backspace on that that's quite a nice um, experience on there so I like when you've created these uh, these boards which go sort of a bit deeper I've added personal it's added this sort of like emoji icon thing and then professional has added the windows flag for some reason uh, but you, I think you can modify this. So if you go, oh, if I go back out, it's very sensitive to touch, that's what I noticed, but I can imagine. So for example, uh, if I wanted this like uh, to add my like personal stuff, like so I want to add like uh, my profile image, for example, let's say that could be, oh, I spelled profile wrong. I'm awfully dyslexic. Um, if I say profile and I grab a quick picture of myself, then uh, it's a bit slow. Uh, and I upload it, I can see that as like a little cover photo, which is quite nice. And if I did the same for a professional, maybe I maybe I like choose something like LinkedIn or something like that that just looks more serious. And if I have like personal, so this is how I would organize my own thing. Um, maybe you would start with something like a column uh, feed, uh, maybe like priorities for the week. Uh, again, I'll rename that one. And you can start adding cards here. So let's say you could be like, okay, uh, create Mila note review. Uh, 
think of another priority. So uh, the way that you add a new card is you click below it, and that's quite cool. And it's got all of these like uh, you know uh, functions down the bottom, and you can actually add a color to a card as well, which is quite nice. So if I wanted to like uh, create Evernote for search video, which I'm working on, and you can obviously go a bit deeper. And if I wanted, I could be like, okay, uh, draft the content for this, uh, plan full video date. You can add like these these checklists, and they're all actionable, which is great. So what I would probably do is I probably have my priorities here and lay them out quite nicely, and then maybe you know use the use the color coding to like prioritize stuff inside of that priorities. So for example, maybe this one is. Um, I don't know, um, create new, I'm just thinking of like priorities for the week. Create new channel art, right? And go back like that. And I can, I think I can, I think I actually, yeah, I remo accidentally removed that one. But if I wanted to add it back in, I'm sure it allows it. Yes, it does. Okay, there we go. Uh, so I have my priorities for the week. I would put it up in the top left hand corner. Then what I do is I might have some like visual inspiration. So for example, the good thing you can do on the Mac is sort of drag in images. Um, my Mac is being awfully slow today, so I do apologize. Um, but I would probably bring in, maybe this is some visual inspiration, so I would drag that on there. Um, and as you can see, I believe it uploads it. It's a bit slower today because my, my computer's a bit slower. And I would resize it once it's, once it's happily there. Maybe add a caption like uh, mood board or something like this that would just sort of get my sort of uh, you know, inspiration up as I'm going. So I make it a little bit bigger, maybe the size of that. Um, and then what I do is I probably have micro boards based on stuff. So down here I might have YouTube. Uh, down here I might have like medium or blog. And I like that it brings this in. So medium blog, um, anchor or podcast. And then what I do is I've had those spaces to organize all of my stuff. So I might add an additional layer down here. Um, what's quite nice about this is obviously, this is very visual. Like once you go into this, you've you've getting yourself organized and you get self planning stuff. What I'd have here over here is probably like some additional notes. So like things that I would be adding uh, that may like, for example, uh, let me just add this one. So maybe like week review items. This is just like musings, but again, this could be very helpful for someone trying to keep themselves organized. Read review items, uh, maybe like uh, uh, council tax, I don't know. Things that you're not gonna do now, but you might need to review at the end of the week. Uh, you know, uh, plans for new podcast. Uh, meetings with friends. Uh, dinner date with fiance, things like that. You wanna be able to add this. And as you're starting to see, you're starting to see that it's pretty visual. It's a pretty nice setup. Like you could start building this as a real nice thing. One I think as well is when you get started, you only have like, I think it's 50 notes. Uh, it looks like I've only used seven of the 500 notes used. I would recommend deleting all of the example stuff, which will give you free notes, but you can only have, oh no, it's a hundred uh, regular uh, notes cards, what they're called. So everything from notes, images, links, boards, and columns count as cards, and even lines too. So just be careful how you're using this. But it's a good way for you to start organizing visually. I quite like this as well because it's almost like having a notebook of some kind. So it's like planning in advance. So if I were to recommend this, guys, I would use it, if you're using it for non-creative use, use it like something like this, like have a visual setup that you're happy with. Then if you're gonna use it creatively, feel free to use it in any manner you like. I know that designers like to just have a mood board or like annotate stuff or like add captions everywhere uh, or information, then this could be for you. Now, I thought I'd give you sort of an overview of the Mac version. The Mac version is very similar to the web version. So if you want the web full review, that's gonna be in the cards on YouTube. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this overview. I hope you enjoyed my insights into what I'd sort of organize uh, Mila Note like um, as a sort of template. Naturally, naturally guys, I hope this video helped you. I'm looking forward to checking in on a few more applications that have developed out. Um, so make sure to check out all my other videos 
And if you haven't signed up to the weekly email, we put out a weekly email now. It's all about productivity apps and resources. I'm really sure that you enjoy it if you enjoy some of these features. Anyway, guys, make sure to have a great week. Keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.